welcome to day four. This is my favorite workout. Give your body a little TLC with a body stretch. You ready, dear? I'm ready. Okay. You've worked hard for the last three days. Now day four, as Tanya said, give yourself a little TLC. And this helps when you recuperate your muscles, you actually look better. All right, here we go. Heel toe rock, back and forth. All you have to do is roll to your toes, roll to your heels, keep your legs straight, chest up, shoulders back. Good, inhale the good, exhale the bad. There you go. Four, three, two, one. Good, okay, Tanya, turn to the side here. What we're gonna do, a great stretch for the lower back and the knees. So Tanya, slide your hands down your legs, grab the ankles, good. Keep a hold of your ankles at home and you're going to squat and then straighten your legs. Squat and straighten your legs. Good. So you want to keep a hold of those ankles. Good. And what you're doing here is making the knees happy, stretching out the hamstrings, making the lower back happy, kind of getting some rid of those aches and pains you might have for those first three days of working out. Four more, Tanya. One. Two, three, let's get your butt a little lower. Good, and walk your hands up your legs, kind of like cat paws, all the way up, reach for the ceiling. Good, and nice. Okay, what we're gonna do now is a backstroke. Okay, it's not an Olympic race, we don't have to go fast. It's more you're doing a nice relaxing backstroke, looking up at the clouds. Good, why are we doing this one? Well we have a lot of this FHP, forward head posture, working on computers, driving, uh, phones, okay? So this happens to your body. A lot of tension in your shoulders and your neck. The backstroke unwinds those tight spots so it helps you stand up naturally. Good? Great exercise for making you feel better, especially getting rid of some of the neck pain. Four more. One, two, three, four. Good. Okay, Tanya, just stand back here a little bit. Right here. Good, 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 good. All right, good. All right, now what you're going to do is slide your hands down to your ankles. Good. Put your hands on the floor and then walk your hands out like cat paws into a push up position. Good. You're going to hold that. All right, now Tanya, let's show us your best downward dog. So you're going to lift the hips up to the ceiling. Good, and we want to get your heels down to the floor. Good. That's the goal. It may or may not happen today, but it will happen by day 30, guaranteed, if not by day 15. Okay? And even today, sometimes you just have to kind of breathe it out and release the tension in your calves and those heels will go down. Good, so you're gonna lower your butt again, Tanya. So same thing at home, just get down into a push-up position. Good, and lift your hips up nice and high, back into that downward dog. Good, there you go. Nice, heels are even down a little bit further. See, you just have to take time. It's like a knot in a shoelace, you have to unwind it. Good, butt to the ceiling, back flat. Good. What's great here is you're stretching, but you're also strengthening your upper body muscles. Okay, Tanya, hips down, walk your hands out a touch. Good, now I want you to inhale, exhale, get back into that downward dog. So hips up high, good. Heels are getting better, that's it. How's that feeling, Tanya? Awesome. Good, now notice, long arms, long back, Straight legs, knees are locked, heels are getting down. Are your heels getting closer? Almost there. All right, good, almost there. Now, what we're gonna do is walk your hands back to your feet like cat paws. Stand up nice and tall and reach up for the ceiling. Good, all right, all right. What we're gonna do now is get down like this, Tanya. Same thing at home, so you're on your knees and we're gonna put one leg out, kind of like a sprinter in the starting blocks. Good. And what you're going to do, Tanya, is you're going to put both hands down on the... Let's, uh, honey, honey, let's uh, match me. There we go. Okay. We need some more rehearsal time here. Okay, what we're going to do is put both hands down, and now you're going to take your right arm and reach up to the ceiling. Good. 
There you go. Do you feel a little stiff part there? Yes. Yeah. We get very stiff through this part of the body, especially the upper pecs. So Tanya felt a little stiff, and then she relaxed and got rid of the tension and was able to stretch it out. So what's good here is this is called the can opener stretch. It's opening up all the tight spots, so opening up the hips, opening up the pecs and shoulders. You got that can opener and getting rid of all the tension, opening up those areas. Good. Now slowly bring this hand down, stay in this lunge. Now you're going to bring up the opposite arm. You're going to reach up. Good. You're going to feel a whole brand new area of tight spots here. But we got the can opener and we take, get rid of that tension. Open up the shoulders, open up the hips, open up even underneath the legs here. Make sure you breathe. Feel that, Tanya? I feel it. Good. Does it feel good? It feels great. That's right. And you can become more flexible. I hear so many people saying, oh, I'm, I can't, I'm too tight, or I, I'm not flexible. Well, you got to make yourself flexible, okay? You got to do the movements and you will become flexible. Everyone is flexible, you just got to get there. All right, let's bring this hand down and you're going to sit back onto your heels. So bring both legs back, sit back onto your heels. And this is something a lot of people can't do. They feel a little uncomfortable because they have tight uh, shins or ankles. I used to be one of those, but you just got to do it and it'll get rid of it, okay? If it's too much, put your hands here. Otherwise, you can even put your hands back here. All right, switch your legs, Tanya. Put the other leg forward. Good. Put both hands on the floor. Now your outside arm is going to reach up to the ceiling. Stretch. Good. And Tanya, just for the camera here, I'm going to get you to move over there more. Good. And so I'm going to, some adjustments I'm going to make with Tanya is open up your lunge more. So even during this stretch more, her foot can come forward more and her leg can come back. Same thing at home. Okay, try to get that lunge a little bit more stretched. You can see that. Good. Stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. Switch the arms. Good. You'll feel that maybe one side is tighter than the other one. Don't worry, you're not weird. That's a normal thing. Most people do have one tighter side. But the goal here is in 30 days, both sides are flexible. Okay, there is no tight side, and it can happen. You just got to work on it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, the stretching feels so good, doesn't it? It feels great. Good. Okay, bring it down. Sit back onto your heels. Good. Okay, next one, what we're going to do is we're going to have a seat. So, trying to get right in the center here. Get your legs open into the letter V as wide as you can. Take both hands, and you're going to reach over for this left toe and grab. Good. Hold. Very nice. And what you can do is let the head relax. Good. We don't want to hold tension in the neck. Same thing at home. You can look up at the screen just to kind of check out Tanya's form, but otherwise get your forehead down to your knee. Good. And if you can't grab the toe, Tanya, just come on up here for a second. Grab at least the shin and try to get your head down. Okay. What we don't want is your hands just Come on up, Tanya. We don't want your hands just floating here and you struggling and having tension. Touch something, get your knee down, your head down. Good. And then otherwise grab the toe. Good. Ten more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on up. Sit up nice and tall. And now because you're stretched out, you can put the legs a little wider. Good. Both hands reach over to that toe. Good. Hold it. Nice. Same thing at home. What are we doing here? Well, just releasing tension through your body. Hamstrings can get tight. Your lower back gets tight. Your spine, your shoulders, your neck. Well, when you stretch that out, it helps your body recuperate between each workout. And when you recuperate between each workout, you burn more fat. You repair your muscles faster, so you get sculpted faster. And you also increase your energy. So this is why it's very important not to skip over this stretching workout. Good. Now slide up into a nice seated position, Tanya. Get the feet a little bit wider. And bring both forearms down to the floor. Good. And your goal is to have the elbows on the floor and your forehead on the floor. 
Yeah, there you go. So you can see Tanya was kind of looking up. Tanya, look up. See? We don't, I don't want to see your face, okay? You got to get the forehead down. There you go. Release the tension in your neck like a bobblehead doll. Good. Nice. Hold this. We have 30 second hold. Feel. I want you to breathe. So inhale, exhale any muscle tension. Inhale, grab that muscle tension with your breath and then exhale it out. Good. And on the exhale, you'll feel yourself stretch more. Good. 10 more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Use your arms to push yourself up. Good. Bring your feet together and just swing off to the side. We're going to stand up nice and slow. Good. How are you feeling? Awesome. Good. You're standing up taller, which is great. Okay. What we're going to do now is lift your heels. Reach up as high as you can. Good. So I want you to be streamlined, okay? Tippy toes, squeeze your butt, suck in your stomach, reach your arms. Your body shapes the way you move it. So now is your time to mold your body into that long, sleek, agile body, the shape. Inhale, exhale, drop your heels, drop your arms. Good. Bounce on the toes. Yeah, I want you to feel nice, loose, energetic, and ready for tomorrow's blast off workout. Tanya, high five on that one. Good. High five at home. Boom.